cancer care, people often have to have different medical tests, scans, and procedures. Some tests are done so that doctors can make an accurate diagnosis of cancer. And some are done regularly to check your health during cancer treatment, after treatment, and throughout survivorship care. It's normal to feel nervous or anxious about having tests and procedures done, whether it's a new test or something you've had before. Some patients call these feelings scanxiety. To help cope with this stress, there are many ways patients can prepare themselves beforehand, especially by gathering information ahead of time about what preparation needs to be done, who will be taking care of them during the test, what the test will be like, and how they will find out results. This can all reduce stress and help ensure that everything goes smoothly. There are steps that can be taken in, in the preparation process that can really help improve safety as well as quality when it comes to medical procedures and tests. The first starts with choosing the place that you want to have this procedure, test, or scan done, and then getting it scheduled. The medical team that will be taking care of you the day of the procedure will vary, depending on what type of test or procedure is needed. Physicians, nurse practitioners, physician assistants, and nurses are all healthcare professionals who may perform procedures. Technologists may also perform certain procedures, and there may be other skilled professionals who are helping assist during a procedure. In some places, such as academic centers, there may be doctors in training known as residents or fellows who may also be participating in procedures. Your healthcare team will provide you with instructions on what to do to prepare for the procedure. So this may include instructions on medications as well as eating and drinking restrictions. It can be helpful to wear like, loose and comfortable clothing on the day of a medical procedure and also leaving valuables such as jewelry at home. In many cases, the patient will receive instructions about things they need to do or avoid doing before arriving for the test. These may be things to do a few days ahead of the test, or just the night before, or day of. These are important steps to take to ensure that your test goes smoothly and that the results will be clear. Ask your healthcare team ahead of time for specific instructions for your test and let them know if you have any questions about them. Some examples of this include there may be some medications that your healthcare team may want you to take the day before the procedure, but maybe not the day of. Another example is your healthcare team may not want you to apply lotion or cream to your skin before something such as a mammogram, as that can affect the quality of the imaging results. Preparing for a procedure or test also means informing the medical staff that will be taking care of you on the day of the procedure about any medical conditions or allergies that you have. The staff may ask you to sign a consent form when you arrive. This form states that you understand the benefits and risks of the procedure and agree to have it. It's also very helpful to ask the healthcare team in advance what you should expect during the procedure and once it is over. Knowing what will happen can help manage your stress as you wait for your test. For instance, some procedures require people to receive a special dye called a contrast for the test. This may mean that you'll need an injection before the test itself begins. When injected in your vein, the contrast dye travels through the bloodstream and helps create a clearer picture of specific parts of your body. Or it may be given as a liquid to swallow depending on what part of your body needs to be scanned. You may also receive some type of sedation or anesthesia to help you relax or block the awareness of pain. If you are going to be going home after a procedure, you will likely need a ride home as you may be groggy or cloudy from medications that are given either during the procedure or following the procedure. As part of your preparations, Ask about your ability to drive yourself home, because with some procedures, you can go back to your normal activities, such as driving, immediately. And make sure to find out from your medical team when you can expect to get the results of the test or procedure, how you will be notified, and who can explain the results to you. 
It can be difficult to wait for the results of a procedure or a test, but your healthcare team will be able to provide you with information on who will be contacting you to share the results, and they'll also be able to provide you with a, an estimate of a time frame in which those results will be available to share with you. If you're awaiting your results and that time frame has pretty much come to an end and you haven't heard anything yet, I encourage you to call your healthcare team to find out more. It is always okay to call your healthcare team to share any questions or concerns that you might have, including the availability of your results. If you are concerned about the cost of your procedure, reach out to the medical center where the test will be done to find out beforehand what your insurance provider will cover and ask how much of the cost you will have to pay. In general, talking with the healthcare team and asking the questions that are important to you are ways that you can feel comfortable with the medical tests, procedures, and scans that help guide your cancer treatment and recovery. To learn more about preparing for a medical test or procedure, you can visit ASCO's patient information website, cancer.net. If you're looking for more information on cancer-related procedures and tests, cancer.net offers a wealth of resources for patients and their families. It includes some detailed descriptions of different cancer-related procedures and tests, as well as questions you might find helpful to discuss with your healthcare team. I am Dr. Arun Narula, Narula Diagnostic Center Director. Now, we have installed a PET CT in the situation. PET CT, we have installed a एनाटॉमी और स्ट्रक्चर के बारे में पता लगा सकते हैं इसके द्वारा कैंसर का डायग्नोसिस स्टेजिंग का पता लगता है कैंसर के अलावा इसका प्रयोग हार्ट डिजीजेस में और ब्रेन की डिजीजेस में है जिसके बारे में विस्तार से आपको डॉक्टर अर्जुन नरूला और डॉक्टर आशीष बताएंगे मैं डॉक्टर अर्जुन नरूला ऑंकोरेडियोलॉजिस्ट और मैं डॉक्टर आशीष गंभीर न्यूक्लियर मेडिसिन फिजिशियन आज आपको पेट सिटी का स्टेप बाय स्टेप प्रोसीजर समझाएंगे पेट सिटी का अपॉइंटमेंट एक दिन पहले लिया जाता है और उसके बाद पेशेंट को जो समय दिया जाता है उस पे पेशेंट छः घंटे की फास्टिंग यानी खाली पेट रहकर हमारे पास पहुंचता है जिसके बाद पेशेंट के सारे डॉक्यूमेंट्स कलेक्ट किए जाते हैं और उसको आई वी लगाया जाता है आई वी लगाने के बाद उसका ब्लड शुगर लेवल चेक किया जाता है और ब्लड शुगर लेवल नॉर्मल होने पर उसका हाइट और वेट चेक किया जाता है पूरी तरीके से दवाई देने के बाद पेशेंट को वेटिंग एरिया में बिठाया जाता है जहां पे पेशेंट को 45 मिनट से लेके एक घंटे तक आराम से बिना कोई हलचल किए बैठना होता है इसमें हम पेशेंट को एक लीटर के आसपास पानी पीने के लिए देते हैं जो वो आराम से पीता है और उसके लिए डेडिकेटेड टॉयलेट की फैसिलिटी अवेलेबल है एक घंटा पूरा होने के बाद पेशेंट को पेट सिटी के रूम में शिफ्ट किया जाता है पेट सिटी मशीन के टेबल पे पेशेंट को लेटा के लगभग 15 से 20 मिनट में पूरे शरीर का पेट सिटी एक्वायर किया जाता है जिसमें पेशेंट कई बार मशीन के अंदर और बाहर आता जाता है स्कैन कंप्लीट होने के बाद स्कैन ठीक आया है या नहीं इसको सुनिश्चित करके पेशेंट को फ्री करने के लिए हम स्टार्ट प्रोसीजर करते हैं तो इस तरीके से हमारा पूरा पेट सिटी का प्रोसीजर समाप्त होता है इस पूरे प्रोसीजर में दो से चार घंटे का समय लगता है और स्कैन टाइम पंद्रह से पच्चीस मिनट का होता है पेट सिटी की जांच के माध्यम से हम बता पाते हैं कि पहली बात कैंसर है कि नहीं और है तो कितना फैला हुआ है और हम एग्जैक्ट स्टेजिंग कर पाते हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल इस केस में गदूर का कैंसर है और ये हड्डियों और लिफ्ट नोड्स में फैला हुआ है इसके बेसिस पे हम एक एग्जैक्ट ट्रीटमेंट प्रोटोकॉल डिसाइड कर पाते हैं 
साथ ही साथ पैथिली हमें हेल्प करता है डिजीज रिस्पॉन्स देखने के लिए थेरेपी के प्रति जैसे कि ये लिवर का कैंसर का पेशेंट है जो कि थेरेपी ले रहे हैं और हम बता पाते हैं कंपैरिजन से नवंबर और मार्च के स्कैन में कि कितना इम्प्रूवमेंट आ रहा है कि नहीं आ रहा कैंसर के साथ साथ पैथिटी का प्रयोग हम इन्फेक्शन में भी करते हैं और हृदय रोग में भी करते हैं जैसे कि हृदय रोग में हम बता पाते हैं कि हार्ट अटैक या माइक्रोड इन्फॉक्शन के बाद कितना टिश्यू वायबल है कि नहीं क्या ये पेशेंट सर्जरी और सी बी uh, सी से बेनिफिट करेगा या नहीं करेगा ये सब प्रोसीजर है कैपेसिटी का और ये इंडिकेशंस होती हैं और ये हमें हेल्प करता है डायग्नोस